All right, boys and girls, when we start our dragon eyes today, you are going to start by grabbing your sculpture bag. This has everything that you need, your directions and some tools inside. You need a messy mat on your table. You are not allowed to put clay on your table without a messy mat. And you need to see me for a ball of clay. This will be a small ball of clay. It should fit in the palm of your hand. And let's pull out our directions. So my directions say, the first thing I'm gonna start with is draw a diamond in the center of your gem a black with a black Sharpie. Add some color with colored Sharpies. So this is like the inside of your dragon eye. This is the eyeball. The rest is like the skin around the dragon eye. So in your bag, you'll find a little gem. Just use one on your gem. You want to start with a black Sharpie. And what you're going to do is color in a long diamond shape. So dragon eyes look a little bit different from people eyes. Our pupil is a black circle. For the dragon, it's kind of like a black diamond. Put a couple layers of this black on here so it's nice and dark. And then you can find some colored Sharpies. You can color your dragon eye any color that you want using the colored Sharpies. It's totally up to you, but you have to make sure you color the outside part with some sort of color. You can use one color, you can blend colors, you can even put some smooth texture lines in there. It's up to you. I'm gonna touch up that black because it looks like it's not quite dark enough. Don't touch the Sharpie until it's dry though. You might wanna blow on it a couple times because if you touch it while this is wet, it's gonna smear. Blow on it three or four times and then it should be good. So that's the center of my eye. I wanna put that to the side of my messy mat. Now I'm gonna start using my clay. So my Sharpie should be put away. I have my directions. The next direction says, roll your clay into three equal size balls. So what I'm gonna do is take my big piece of clay and divide up the pieces into three. So what I can do is just rip it apart Put the three pieces next to each other and see if they're about even. If this one is too big, take someone and put it in the small one. Squish them in your hand. They should be about even, okay? If they're not even, then take pieces and put them into other piles here. Once they're even, these three pieces are going to be the different parts of the dragon eye. So let's start with number three. It says, flatten the first ball of clay into a pancake. So using my first ball of clay, I'm gonna flatten this into a pancake. So I'm gonna start by rolling it first into a ball. Then I'm going to use my roller tool from my bag. And I'm just gonna press this down, up and down, and then left to right a couple times. My goal here is to try and make a circle that looks flat like a pancake, because this is going to be the outside of the eye. This is going to be this part right here on the back. So if it looks like a circle, it looks pretty good here. There's also a black circle tracer in the bag that you have. Your eye should be about this big, no bigger. If it's a little bit smaller, that's okay. So use this as a tracer guide. Okay, next it says flatten the second ball of clay into a pancake, then cut it in half. So these are gonna be the eyelids. So I'm gonna put my first pancake aside, flatten my second pancake, I want this one to be about the same size as the first one. So roll it out a bit and then measure it. Is it the same size? Yep, pretty good. Push your sides in so it's nice and even. And then I'm going to use one of the tools in my bag, this little plastic knife, and I'm gonna cut this in half. All right, so these two pieces, let's put these aside. Then the next ball I'm gonna use for my texture details. So I can just put this aside for now. I'm gonna build the rest of the eye before I make those details. Number four says, place your gem in the center of your first big pancake. So my gem is ready. I'm gonna place that in the center, press it down so it sticks. Then place the two halves of the other pancake on top and bottom of the gem. These are the eyelids. So overlap them over the gem a bit. So what I mean by overlap is your pancake halves here have to go over your eye a little bit because these are called eyelids. They cover the eye a bit, but we don't want to cover the eye all the way. 
So see how I placed mine down and then I just put a little roll up here for the eyelid. So I'm just rolling this up a bit so it doesn't cover my whole eye. Now press your circles together. Press, 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 press. Because we want them to stick together. You can even press the edges like this so they are stuck together. We don't want there to be space in between them anymore. They are stuck totally together now. They're one piece now. Okay, I can flatten this out a little bit more if I want, but that is the first part of my eye. Now, number six says, add your texture details. Later, we will paint the Dragon Eyes mini color. Texture details, let's look at some ideas. Let's go back to number three. Some textures that I know that I can use, bumpy, wrinkly, spiky, hairy, rough, smooth, scaly, and rocky. So here's a bunch of ways that you can make some of those textures. If I wanna make a bumpy texture, kind of like on my example here, what I can do is take little pieces of the clay, roll it with my fingers or roll it on my messy mat, flatten them out a little bit to make little bumps. And I can overlap some of these little bumps on parts of the dragon eye. I can make little bumps, big bumps, and flatten those out. If I want to make a spiky texture, I can take pieces of my ball here. I can roll them into a ball. And then I can try and make these into little spikes like I did here. So maybe try and flatten this. Use some of your tools to help you. I wanna try and make this into more of a pointy triangle. So I can use this tool to press, press this into points and flatten it. Press it into a point. So that's kind of a good pointy spike. I maybe want to put this right here. Maybe he has some spikes sticking up like this. See how it's kind of sticking up from my clay? So I can keep putting some spikes. I put a whole bunch of spikes on mine here. Um, I can roll out some clay like this. Maybe I want to make some more wrinkles, wrinkly texture, or rough texture. So I can take a piece here and roll it with my hand or with my roller, I can roll it as well. And I can put some more of these wrinkly eyelid lines above and below. Every time I put a piece down, I wanna make sure I press it so it sticks to the other clay. Not too hard, because it will flatten out, but I wanna press it so it sticks enough here. I can make some more up here, some wrinkly eyelid parts. Let's see, what's another texture I could use? How about hairy? Maybe I can take little pieces like this, skinnier pieces, and overlap some eyelashes. Maybe rough, I can use my tools for rough. There's some other tools in my basket like um, toothpick, pointy poker tool. So I can use this to maybe make some bumpy textures or rocky or rough. I can use my toothpick to make some rough textures like some scars. Um, I can maybe use this side to make some bigger bumps if I like, some indented bumps. Or I can maybe use this to do some kind of like fancy designs. So use your tools in a creative way. You can experiment on here too if you're not sure how to use your tools. So in the end, your dragon eye should be covered with texture. You should have at least four textures just like our drawings. Later, we're going to paint these. So if you're done, we're going to put this on a paper plate with your name on it, let it dry overnight, and then next week we will paint this. If you still have clay left, give it back to Miss Butner so we can save this so it doesn't dry out. Everything goes back in my sculpture bag, all of my directions and tools when I am done. Okay, let's get started.